The SG or soft ground stud pan is one that gets frequently overlooked by everybody including reviewers like me because honestly it's not that interesting and you'll have heard me and I'm sure other people say eh they're all the same but are they? We have here three different SG stud patterns. We've got the Nike Anti-Clog, a standard mix plate, which is on the Adidas X Ghosted Plus, and also the criminally underrated, in my opinion, six stud SG plate. Now we're out on a fairly soft ground pitch. You definitely don't wanna be using FG boots on here, and we're gonna test it out. Will any of these SG plates actually make me any faster? What's up guys, I'm James and welcome to Boot Wizard Boot Reviews. So, how are we gonna do it? How are we gonna work out if any of these three boots, if any of the different SG stud patterns actually make you any faster? Well, I set up a course and we're gonna see how fast I can get around that course wearing each boot. We're also gonna measure top speed. We're gonna find out if any of these boots give me a straight line advantage as well as going through this course that requires cuts, moves, changes of direction, just like in a game. How on earth are we gonna do this? Well, timing, stopwatch, and in terms of the top speed, we're also testing out these today. These are the Adidas GMR insoles, which are supposed to be able to track how many times you kick the ball, how far you run, and most importantly for today, how fast you run. So we're gonna give them a go. We're testing a few things today. So we're also testing the pure grip sleeves, some new grip socks. So if you wanna pick up all of that stuff, get subscribed to the channel and do make sure you like this video and you can support us over at patreon.com. But first, we need a control. We can't just go out and see if SG stud patterns make a difference. So we're gonna go out in these, a pair of Predator LZ2s in an FG stud pattern. What is this gonna deliver on an SG pitch? So we've got something to compare to the dedicated SG boots. As you can see, our FG Predator LZ2 delivered a 19.5 kilometers an hour top speed. Yes, I am not a fast human being in any boots at all, but it, you know, it's all me, so at least it's a baseline. 19.5 kilometers an hour in top speed. We managed to fill the sprint in 4.22 seconds and the total time was 17.11 seconds. So what does any of that mean? Well, basically it means nothing if we don't compare it to the SG boots. So let's get out there in the X Ghosted Plus in this mix sole plate. We're expecting big things here. This is interesting, we've gone into an SG boot and what we've got is we've got an increase in the top speed. We've got an increase in the amount of time, well a decrease in the amount of time it took me to make that sprint, as you might expect from having better traction. But maybe because I haven't got as good rotational movement options, as much traction in different directions, my overall time for the course has actually gone up. It took me longer to do the whole course in the SG Ghosted than it did in the FG Predator. But we did increase that sprint speed. So now we definitely need to compare this to the other options we have and see if this is a continuation, something we can expect from all SG boots. Ning -ling 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 
Does anti-clog make a difference? Well, looking at the details, we're actually slower on the sprint than we are in the X Ghosted. I don't really have a rationale for that. Maybe I just ran slower, but we are still faster on the sprint than we were in the FG pattern, as we would expect. But we did manage to get around the course faster than any boot so far. So these were faster than the X Ghosted overall and the FG. So it's kind of middle of the road here. We're a little slower on the sprint, but we're definitely faster getting around the course. Is that because of the way the studs are set up? We've got more plastic mixed studs in this particular boot. Maybe that's why we've got more angular studs that are going to allow me to cut into the boot. Maybe that's why. A reason that I would give personally is that I'm a lot more comfortable in this boot than I am in either of the other two boots that we've tried so far. So maybe I'm just more confident going into those turns than I would have been in the other boots. And that means a lot. Your confidence and your feeling can play a big part. And it's probably more important than any kind of mix SG stud pattern that you can pick up. Last option though, we are gonna jump into a six stud boot. These are basically unheard of these days. Nobody really uses them apart from pros on some particularly wet days. Wayne Rooney used to love this, um, but we're gonna see, is it still viable in this day and age? Is this boot still an option that you could consider on a rainy day in Stoke? and what some people would call the outdated tech on the six stud Puma absolutely holds its own here. We're faster than the X Ghosted and the LZ going round the course. Our top speed, not quite as fast as the Ghosted, but faster than the GT, even if we were slower round the course than we were on the GT. All of these have had ups and downs, positives and negatives, and can you look at this and find a specific area that really means that one is better than the other? Does one of these boots genuinely make you faster? The GT was fast around the whole course, that takes that prize. The Ghosted was fastest in a straight line. Does that mean that you should pick your boots based on a specific SG stud pattern? Well, I would argue that yes, yes you should but not for any of the reasons that we've tested here today. Is it likely that the X Ghosted is gonna make you faster? Not really, it's the lightest boot here. It has the Carbotex insert, it feels a bit nippy, and maybe if I wanted to run the fastest, I would maybe wear the X Ghosted because of the feeling on feet. It makes me feel faster, which is what's actually really important, and that might make me run a little faster. And I mentioned earlier that the GT, I just, I feel super comfortable in this boot, so I feel like I can really dive into those turns and I can really approach things aggressively and that's really important and I think that's why this was the fastest overall just because I was comfortable in it so that is the key it's to pick if you need an SG boot get an SG boot six studs whether you want an overall six stud an anti-clog or a standard mix plate all of them will do a good enough job but Pick the one that fits you the best and you feel the most comfortable in because that is where you're going to get your advantage. Now, what we'll do in the future is we'll test out if the anti-clog actually makes a difference if we play over a longer period of time. Does the X, does the six stud make a difference? Because that has some certain properties that are very beneficial. Do they make a difference if we use them for a longer period of time over a match duration. If you want to see that, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the like button on this video because 
that shows me that you like this kind of stuff where you break down what boots can actually do. And if you can support us, head to patreon.com forward slash bootwizard. That's all from me here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one and we'll see you soon.